Hey guys, it's me, Kilmson, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. It's always I do every Saturday, which I cover the news. I know it's Sunday. Imagine this is Saturday. I forgot yesterday was Saturday, so I didn't make this video. I was going through stuff. But today, we're going to be covering the news because we gotta. But there's a lot of more this week. It's mainly mulch news, but there is some amazing fan game news that I want to talk about. Fan game, FNAF inspired game news I want to talk about. But let's just begin. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and tell me what your favorite thing is in the comments below. But let's go off with Hex. So Hex released the collectible cards for Glamrock Fuddy, Glamrock Chica, Roxanne Wolf, and, Mon and Monty. So here's what all the cards look like. And they are freaking fantastic, guys. These are the best looking cards yet. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. Fuddy looks amazing. He's doing his classic pose that he normally does in uh, the images for uh, security breeds. Glamrock Chica, he's eating some dumpster pizza, there's little cockroaches all over it, but yet it's so cute, it's so cute, I don't know why, but it's so cute. We got Roxy in the middle, looking a whole fast, he's so fabulous. Then we got Monty, Monty's in my opinion, and Buddy's the weakest ones in my opinion, but Chica and Roxy, they are fantastic, and they absolutely cooked with these cards. Uh, but uh, this, this, these cards come with when you buy the plushies, so... It's like a collector's item, basically. So, look forward to that when they officially release. A golden-plated Fuddy Fazbell Big Pin is available now. Big Pin exclusive of a limited release of 500 pieces. So, this is very limited. I'm not sure if it's out already or not, because it has been a few days since, you know, I cover the week news every week. So, this actually might be gone as of now, because, you know, FNAF fans love buying everything. But, it's a Big Pin. It's a collectible pin, I'm guessing, of Fuddy Fazbell. It's pretty cool. Uh, but that's all I can say about it. It's, it's made out of gold. I don't know why I didn't choose Golden Fuddy, but it's whatever. So, it's like a collector's item. So, if check it out, I guess. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's a pin. I don't know what to say, guys. But it's limited edition, so you better be quick when you get it. And YouTube has some teasers for the next Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube's wave releasing on October 27th. So, the last will include Monitor Buddies and Plessy. So, we got some news that's coming on the 27th of a bunch of brand new U2's merchandise that is going to be coming out. Just FYI, guys, make sure to check the social media pages because they do do giveaways, so make sure you sign up for those and have a chance to win. I always do because I always want to win at least something, and it's always, you know, it's like gambling kind of, you gotta test your luck, but maybe you guys will win, maybe I will win, we don't know until you at least try. But, yeah, the pretty cool stuff's going to be coming out on October 27th. We also got a full look at Funko's upcoming Jumbo Gingerbread Foxy Plusy. Exclusive at GameStop. So we got a gingerbread looking foxy. He's pretty cool. He has a can candy cane instead of a hook, which is funny. And pe peppermint eye for like his eye patch and stuff like that. But sadly, it's exclusive at GameStop. I really hate exclusivity for like plushies and stuff because it's just annoying. Because some places not even have GameStops anymore. Because GameStop is kind of dying when you think about it. Uh, I think my GameStop actually closed. So I just have Walmart now. So with that, that sucks. But if you have a GameStop near you, Better pick this out because this is exclusive. All people will probably sell them on eBay for crazy amount of prices. So keep a look, look out, eye look out, keep an eye out for this plushy if you guys are interested. We also got some more Funko news. So we got a full look at Funko's upcoming Withered Fuddy, Golden Fuddy pop, exclusive to Hot Topic. So we got another exclusive, another exclusive pop figure, which is annoying. I hate exclusivity, but it's at Hot Topic. I don't even have a Hot Topic anymore, guys. Stores like that are closing down because people do online shopping. But this figure is amazing. They put so much detail into this Withered Golden Freddy uh, pop figure. Like, you can tell it's the Withered version. It's kind of like, you know, the imprints of it, like the dot on it and stuff. The wires like out of its eye and head. It's just, it's a very high detail pop figure. And I'm kind of jealous that people are going to be able to get it now. Because I can't. But it's absolutely Fantastic. We also got some Five Nights at Freddy's tubs stocks of Buddy Fazbell, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy are now available to pull order. So they made an entire video about this. I'll just play this on loop until I talk about the other thing. So we got Buddy, Foxy, Chica, and Bonnie as like ducks for some reason. You guys can pick them up though, like minis, like, I'm guessing. And there's also more upcoming stuff in 2025. So challenge is accepted. We're going to make Mango, and I've got some designers at home weeping as we speak. So going to be making more of these figures as soon as possible in 2025 so that's amazing so if you like these ducks of the animatronics uh there's going to be more coming so be excited we also got some more hot topic and what's so hot topic is getting all the goodies today so we got new five nights at freddy's mods from hot topic we're going to into the pit swing bonnie appeal which is a t-shirt i don't know what to say it's, it's, it's just a t-shirt 
is Boing Plus Mini Backpack. So, there's a brand new Into the Pit t-shirt and a mini backpack of Spring Trap, which is very funny looking. Uh, pick them up if you're at Hot Topic. I really like the t-shirt more than the backpack, just because I, I, I'm never a fan of like the fussy backpacks. They kind of look weird in my opinion. You can't really put a lot of stuff into them and stuff, like a backpack. But, uh, yeah, the Into the Pit t-shirt is pretty cool. I really like it. And we have one final thing is, and it's not really, I guess, the nap like merchandise basically but it is something i'm very passionate about and it's a fan game or fnaf inspired game they want to be called now and it's a playtime with porcy uh pal porcy is going to be coming very soon october 13th which is today at 12 p.m est so here's an image that's coming soon so if you guys don't know playtime with porcy is an amazing fnaf inspired fnaf game which is my favorite fan game of all time oh uh, yeah i made a video about it yesterday it's pretty good i suggest you guys to watch it but a plus is going to be coming out, and it's going to be only for a limited time, so I'm, I, I want to pick it up. It's based off uh, Power Pulsey, which is the Tomagotchi you play with in the game, which is really cool. I really like the Pulsey one more, in my opinion, because it's Pulsey. Well, you, you, like, it's Pulsey. You can't not like Pulsey. So cute. But with this, it's going to be very cool. I can't wait to see the design when it comes out today. There's going to be a video that showcases it, which is I'm going to watch. I'm going to promote it on my YouTube channel, of course, because I really like Playtime with Pulsey. It's an amazing... An FN Sprout game, and I want more people to discover it because it's one of the best things I've ever played in my life. But yeah, that's all the mulch news. But we also got some more news for FNAF Inspired Game News. So basically, there's going to be upcoming news for Playtime with Porcy. If you like the game like I do, this is some great news. So they are working on a final version of the game called the True Final 2.0 version, which is coming, which is also coming to Steam. So you know how most FNAF fan games are on game chart and stuff. And if you're like me, you prefer your games to be on Steam, because Steam's awesome. And <laughs> sometimes game jolt cl crashes on you when you open up a game. That's been happening to me lately, and it's very annoying. But apparently, they're working on a Steam version with the final version of the game, which is amazing. Uh, oh yeah, I played on it for this video. I am so angry because I was, I was in the beta too, but I'm not. But yeah, there's going to be some great news coming out, and be excited for it. Get the Prowl Pulsey Plusy that releases tomorrow today and uh it's having an animated video so check it out so look forward to a new version basically of the game that's coming on steam and check out the power pulsey plusy and uh watch the video and promote it and show how quit of the team is because they this i really like this game if you couldn't tell i really like this FNAF, uh inspired game it's my favorite for a reason and a lot of people agree with me it's just such an amazing game but that's everything we have this week so a lot of news about Mortz and some playtime of Pulsey stuff, which I'm really happy to talk about. Because I know uh, Johnny Johnny Blocks didn't talk about that because he only talks about fan voice games. And fan voice games, my opinion, they're not the best games ever. They kind of stink a little bit. I'm only looking forward to Five Nights at Candy's 4 and maybe the Joy of Places. And I'm not much of a Pop Goes fan. And you know about the other Quatos, they did pretty bad stuff. So we don't talk about those people. But yeah, that's all we have this week, Sally. No, we're not sadly. I wish there was more news and more, but it, you gotta accept it. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if there's anything you liked in this video, tell me in the comments below because it helps with engagement and it pushes out my video more to more people. And I will see you guys next week on FNAF Weekly News.